All right. So we are now 52 minutes away. And when I'm at this point in a long drive with my kids, I'm just like wondering if I can make it. Will I survive to the end? You can't make it. on this trip. We were planning on going to Southern Oregon and then California and working our way through that through the end of the year. And last night we decided, nope, we're gonna go to Utah. I had to go to, I'm flying to Utah, or I was gonna fly to Utah on Wednesday. Now we're driving to Utah and we're just gonna eat the ticket. But anyways, so today is a really long day. We gotta get from here to Boise, which is usually an eight hour drive, but with the truck and the trailer, it'll probably be 10. So let's, Go about 7:30 in the morning. Heading out. there's traffic because why wouldn't there be that's the total traffic time now it's fine it actually doesn't traffic doesn't usually bother me except I have drunk quite a bit of water in the last two hours which was a mistake it was a mistake <laughs> I see that now but when you're in a downtown area you can't just like get off the freeway and find somewhere to pee if you haven't driven through a lot of downtown areas needing to pee you might not know that but um, I've been on enough road trips now to know that. Look, a volcano! I think that's Mount Hood. Eating an apple. Okay, I wanna tell you a story. Like, mm, I don't know, seven years ago? Yeah. We are living in Utah, Lehigh, Utah. And our friends called us on like Friday morning, maybe, and said, hey, do you wanna go up to a cabin with us tonight? Spend the night? Which to me now sounds like a really benign, boring story. And maybe to many of you it does too. But to me, seven years ago, I was like, okay. And I was so excited at the like, last minuteness of it that like they would just decide it might have actually been the afternoon it might have been like in two hours yeah and uh, so we just like hurried and packed a bag and went and it was really fun but like that idea was totally new to me that you could just like change everything at the last minute and do something I think um, for, because that didn't happen for me growing up not too much at least and it never happened for Mike either. And even though that was in our per personalities, I think we said no to it, like you shouldn't do that, or it's not right, or you're not grown up when you do that, or not responsible. But our friends, the wingers who invited us were responsible, successful people, and we had a great time. Um, and so now, I've totally and completely embraced that idea, and I love it. Um, we're actually really hard to hang out with sometimes because we hate the plan in advance. Like double dates, you know, we wanna go out with friends. We wanna call you at like 4.30 on Friday to go out at 5.30 on Friday. Um, and I have other friends who like always are busy. So they wanna like plan three weeks in advance. And no matter how much I wanna hang out with them, I hate saying that in three weeks I'll go on a date with you. Cause I'm like, I don't know. What if I don't feel like it? Or what if something changes? So if 
that has ever happened to you or happens to you in the future, the person doesn't hate you. They just hate being locked down. about that yeah. the whole time I just turned it on I was gonna ask you but I thought I'd be consulting if I did. well if you notice that we just did a music sequence it was because hey, the mic wasn't on so dad yeah Mike he went silent the mic went silent yeah Mike went silent just like talking but no talking. yeah we didn't have the mic on I guess but it's fantastic quick stop at the Multnomah is that it Multnomah Multnomah Falls along the Columbia River what, in Oregon. Yeah. Columbia River Gorge. Oh yeah, Daniel. Getting yeah. your workout in, Daniel? Uh, come on, Wait. you can do it. Hello, my name is... Uh, yeah! yeah. Oh, oh, I did it! I did it! Come on. I want to do it! You can feel knee tan, though. Oh, oh, Here, yeah. Dad, will you lift Asher up? Can you do it? No, 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 I don't know why you kick when you just fall upside down. Oh, good job. Ah, give me down. Ah. <laughs> give me heart. Okay, let's go. If you're wondering, you're probably not. But yes, we are loud. And yeah. being the mother of nine children in a small space means I have to get really, really, really comfortable with loud. I'm not always really comfortable with it. Sometimes I go to my room, sometimes I add to the loudness by yelling. Sometimes I don't know why, but I just can't handle it. Like, I don't know that that's the loudness that bothers the sound that's bothering me, but my, all my nerves are shot. But I'm getting better. So, it's been about, what, five hours? Six hours, and I'm super tired and feel like junk. Which makes me remember that before I started this trip. Hey Andrew, hey Andrew, can you not be so loud? 
before I started this trip, I didn't know that most RVers don't drive for more than three to five hours on travel days, and most don't have more than one travel day a week. There are times when you go farther, like I am today, um, or when you're trying to get to something, but it's exhausting. So in case you're wondering or you're thinking about doing the RV thing, um, we typically try to stay four hours or less. Sometimes we'll go to five, sometimes we'll go to 10, like we're doing today, but I'm just so dang tired. I feel terrible. I feel like once I get to Boise, I'm gonna have to like go into a dark bedroom and lay there for a while. I feel terrible. Just your guts start to feel bad. Road food and caffeine. And than a steering wheel for that long on windy highways, but but complaining is boring, isn't it? Um, I'm I'm you know still jazzed about where we're going and how everybody's coming with me instead of me flying alone. I was really nervous about leaving Mike for eight days uh, with the kids alone in RV. It is um more is expected of us as parents living in such a small space with our nine kids. So we de we definitely kind of take timeouts and. Uh, we trade off, you know, like cat team, like WWF, you know. But um, I'm not there. I was I was really worried about what kind of state he would be in when I got back. But now I'll only be gone for a few days because driving I can do it differently. So, anyways, still plugging away. away and when I'm at this point in a long drive with my kids I'm just like wondering if I can make it will I survive to the end you can't make it. I'm also wondering if I should go straight to the store to get Epsom salts for my bath or if I should that sounds so princessy but I my back is killing me and I know a, I don't have a bath in the RV I, but there's a bath at my in-laws house I could get some Epsom salts, but in your crazed panic to get there, can you really will yourself to stop? When the, the grocery store is right there, right on the way. But I, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know, because at the end, it's like you can't even, it's like don't talk to me. I just gotta like turn my brain off and drive. Just. Mom, but if you turn your brain off, we'll die. No, I only leave on one small portion of my brain. The, the, the portion that can drive a car, but it can't answer questions, can't feel joy, <laughs> can hardly breathe. <sighs> this is why 10 hour days are few and far between. A rare jewel. I'm complaining again. It's been great. I love it. <laughs> So, <laughs> Whoa. 48 minutes and 56 seconds. Okay, almost. I can do it. We're here. I feel like I have like a fever. I've got like goosebumps. Am I sick? I don't know. I don't know. Awesome, but Did we're here. Did you just record that fighting? Probably. True to life, babe. Uh, oh, grandma's house. We're here. I feel like I'm walking. I feel like I'm walking on um, like peg legs. I'm sitting in the car too long, but everybody else is excited. <laughs> Perfect grandma right there. Are you glad to get out of that car? I bet. Oh, welcome, welcome. It took 10 hours. Okay, we have, well, we've not just arrived, but it's the end of the day on this long travel day. We did about eight, no, nine and a half hours in the car driving. And it was kind of a rough day. Well, for me, it was actually pretty good. Um, I just had 
Eve in the car with me for most of it and she was pretty good and we just sort of, you know, chucked down the road. So not any big issues for me. Megan had a little bit of a harder day. So Megan, yeah. how was your day? Um, I feel like I like crawled across the finish line. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it just got worse and worse. I, it, this is the thing about living in an RV, at least for me, it was a definite mom fail. Um, I don't think it's just me that has this happened, but like I started to feel not well, like had some symptoms like five or six days ago. And I thought, I'll just ignore that. I don't have time. We're doing lots of fun stuff. Um, even though I have all sorts of stuff I can do to help myself, all sorts of natural solutions, and um, I didn't do any. I just ignored it. I just feel like I didn't have time. And so um, today... It you just, paid the price I know, today. I did pay the price. It's, and this is also the lame thing. I mean, um, I'm, we're really lucky that we decided last minute to come down here because I have a bed to sleep in. I have a bed to sleep in my RV, but I don't have very thick walls. And then I'm leaving Mike in a very small space to take care of nine kids, which, you know, he'll take him to the pool so I can get some work done and stuff, but being sick is a whole different ball game. And I think many RVers I've talked to have said being, if you ever have a sick day in the RV, it's like the worst. But, um, so I'm gonna try and get some rest. Um, it was a bad day, probably our, for me, it was our worst day yet. We have other days that are hard, you know, like emotionally, because you're just overwhelmed. You're in a new place. You're out of your comfort zone. But um, I just like, by the end of that drive, I had like goosebumps all the time. I was freezing. My head hurt. My back hurt. It was super fun. But Mike was very nice. And when we got here, he, he, um, he was very nice. <laughs> My That's brain right. just went blank. Blank. Um, I got in a nice. hot bath with some Epsom salts and essential oils, and um, Mike got the kids all situated in bed, and Grandma helped. Mike's parents are excellent grandparents, always willing to host us. They're helpful. So I'm supposed to just have dish tomorrow and then get in the car again and drive down to Salt Lake City on Thursday. So No, Wednesday. Wednesday, sorry, it's Monday. So I got to get better. Better, better, better. You'll get better. Yeah. So. Okay. So, you know, it's it's worth it though. I'm just glad that we get to do it this way.